Okay. Hello, everybody that's in the stream right now. By everybody, I mean you five people and possibly some bots. Hi. <laughs> so, I know this isn't going to, like, get to as many people as, like, I, I want it to get to initially. Just because there's five people here. <laughs> and I'm not entirely convinced they're all actual humans. But, I will be exporting this over to YouTube later because I actually want to get the community's feedback regarding some of these things and what's uh what's going on in the world of Neverwinter right now. Hello Dark Pitch. Hi. So there's some there's a lot of things that have like oh my god they irk my nerves a little bit. And I'm just like curious if this irks everyone else's nerves as well. <laughs> so this is why the stream is titled Neverwinter Rants and Raves. So everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Everybody's entitled to their own thoughts and everything regarding this game and how you play it, who you play it with, and how you go about your time in here and what you do. But there's like these certain standards within our community that like people are expected to be upheld to. And I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, where, where did these come from? Who made these? And why are they a thing? Because... Sometimes I feel like they're kind of dumb. And I'm like, why is this a thing? You know? So, we're going to talk about those. And I want to know what y'all actually think about them too. <laughs> so, you can type in the comment box if you're here and you have anything you want to add to it. You can add a comment once it gets to YouTube later if you want to. I just want to know y'all's thoughts on stuff as well. So, the first thing that... Is something that seems to, like these are all things that seem to cause a lot of drama within Neverwinter 2. And I just don't understand it. I don't understand why. So the first thing is a player having multiple characters in the game that are in multiple different guilds. Like, this is an issue for some people. Having you having a char like having a character in a guild that's not like your home guild, the audacity, like the nerve, how could you? I don't really understand that or why that's like a thought process to begin with. I mean, I get it in terms of like if this was a new game, you know, fresh out the gates, people still establishing guild halls up to rank 20 and like you're trying to really be active and stuff. Guilds don't really mean a whole lot in the game that much anymore in terms of if you're joining a guild for the most part, you're probably joining a rank 20 guild. You're not even joining like a newly formed guild. Sure, maybe some people are. Some people are trying to build up their guilds and stuff. No offense against those people. That's a fun thing to do. If you want to do that, do that. But with the community being as small as it is, especially on Xbox, I don't know how it is in the other realms of Neverwinter, but it's not really that large of a community to where you can establish all these multiple guilds, and there's an abundant amount of rank 20 guilds already out there for you to join if you wanted to join a guild. So, I'm just curious where the community stands on that. Like, does the community think that that's, like, taboo to have a tune in multiple different guilds? I don't know. What do you think, Kian? <laughs> you have to, you're gonna have to keep the filter on for this one and for the rest of them, but uh... I mean... From my standpoint, I like I don't get it. Like, the answer's gonna stem into the other questions, but like... Like, I don't see the general, like, issue with... Like, I think... Like, I, like, I can, like come up with an actual reason in my head as to why someone would get upset if one of my tunes were in a different guild. Like, I've got friends in different alliances, different guilds. Like, what's the issue with putting my tune into said guilds? Like, like, it doesn't hurt your guild in any way. Like, everyone here is a guild hall 20. Most coffers are full at this point. Like, there's not much you can do for your guild per se. Like, I, I, I don't see the issue with, like, you know, just here. I'm gonna dump one of my even bank tunes. Like people get upset over bank tunes mm -hmm. being in other guilds, and like my initial thought process is just like, like, what is wrong with you? Like, like, like seriously, like, what is wrong with you? Like, it's yeah. Not so that like, there's the argument, thing. you know, like I, I, I can't even find really the basis behind it. And and I say this too because 
it kind of makes me a hypocrite in a sense because okay so take one of, one of my friends jmo who i play with all the time smizor y'all probably seen him in my streams and stuff so he has tunes in several different guilds and i on the regular will give him crap about not being all in my guild but i'm i'm joking with him <laughs> like i don't really care that he's in other guilds at all like it doesn't bother me in the slightest it's actually like kind of a running joke because he joined another friend of mine's guild recently and put a tune over there and so like I always joke around with him and I pick on him and stuff but like at the end of the day I don't it doesn't bother me that he's over there and I'm like I guess that makes me a hypocrite though because I do joke with him and pick with him about it and stuff but at the end of the day I'm also not sitting here being like that's bullcrap like it's all or nothing in my guild or I, I'm not friends with you anymore or anything like that which actually goes on in this game and I don't understand that aspect of it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's, it's more common too. So having tunes in multiple guilds within the same alliance, even. So like, even if, if you are in one guild in your alliance and you have a tune in another guild in your alliance, that's that's something where it's like oh why, why like I don't understand it and stuff and it's I just don't understand that so if anybody has any comments regarding that and what y'all think on it please uh feel free to let us know on that one <laughs> is that all you have to like, say about that Forrest like Scott? the only time I could ever put like oh wow he'll, <laughs> like the only time I could ever see like like except you know you're either in my guild you're not in my guild would literally have been the race to guild hall 20. Like I, when I mean... strongholds first came out people wanted all your alts in the tune because you wanted all the influence runs like yada 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 like nowadays like there's not many guild halls being ranked up in this game you could probably mm -hmm. it's you probably looking at like on xbox like active like growing guilds you're looking at 10 or 15 the majority of all these issues are cut like the majority, if not all, of the drama of these issues are coming from Guildhall 20s that have full coffers. There is not much more they can do for those guilds in terms of donating. So what is the big issue of having a tune here, a tune there? Like, it's it's hurting legitimately nobody. Like, it's just... Yeah. It's bonkers to me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. In terms of this game, so, like, right now, I have... So I don't remember. One second. I have 17 characters right now. And of those 17 characters, all of them but one are in my guild. And that's because it's my guild and I'm the leader of the guild and that's where I have all of them. The one rogue tune that's not a bank tune. Actually, this is a lie. All of them but two are in my guild. Um... The other one is in, it's actually my father's guild, and that's who got me into playing this game. And it's the guild that he's the rank 7 of. He no longer plays the game, but my character is still over there, and I hop in in that alliance from time to time to see if there's anybody on. It's basically a dead alliance, and there's never anybody on whenever you flip through the whole alliance. <laughs> there's nobody over there. And so that's a little sad. But also, like, I do still try to pop in, and if there are people on, I try to help them out if they need any help or anything that's going on. Um, and then the others is in a friend of mine skilled strictly because I wanted to be there for their Christmas photo. <laughs> I'm very vain like that. <laughs> I needed my character to take a picture with them because we play with them all the time, and I wanted to be over there because I consider a lot of them friends of mine. I don't really see an issue in that. Some people see issues in that. I don't know. All of my other tunes that are not in my guild, my main guild, are in bank guilds that I strictly have open just because of the, the repositories in the guild hall. And they're holding all of my stuff. But there's people who play the game who have multiple characters and they're like their main characters. They, everybody has like a main main, I guess, per se, that you would consider your... Your main character that you're playing at the time and wherever that guild is is generally like the guild that you're associated with i guess 
And so these other tunes where, like, some people have multiple different mains. I, I, I don't really know. Like, I don't really know what my main is, to, to be honest. So I can't sit here and be like, oh, but this is over here and this is over here. But anyways, so <clears throat> some people see if somebody moves a main character of theirs into, like, another guild and leaves their alt character behind in their guild or something like that. Like, those things are all... It's all... It's, everybody's judged based on what they do and how they do it, and I don't get it. I just kind of rambled for a minute. Anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, the next thing is... uh causes some drama <laughs> is not only having tunes in multiple guilds but the fact that you're ha having tunes in multiple different alliances as well um to me that's like a hey da shadows tv how are you that's like a a networking experience <laughs> I, I don't know any other way to put it other than like i don't care i wouldn't care if um People had tunes in other alliances. That's more opportunities for them to play with more people within the game. It's more options for them to get into runs. It's more everything. However, some people look at that and that it's frowned upon in a sense of like, there's you don't have loyalty to one or the other or something like that. And that it's again, I don't understand why that's the mentality that a lot of people have. And it's not like it's not even like a minority of people. It's a lot of people have it whether it's based on bias of like the actual alliance that they're joining and the people in there and they just dislike them or whatever case it is i don't know but at the end of the day like it's it's the individual player's choice of how they want to play who they want to play with when they want to play and how how often and whoever and wherever they want to do whatever they want to do right No. <laughs> yes, I mean I think I think it, it falls into the guild one again, but it's slightly expanded. Is the majority of issues you get with people saying, "Oh, don't be in that alliance," is they have drama as well with another alliance, and they want to bring you into that drama. Sort of a thing. It's like you can't go over there because I don't like these people. It's like, and a lot of the times when that happens, the person telling you that, they don't know who you are. They, they don't care who you are. They don't play with you on a regular basis. Like, they have, they, they probably didn't help you get your, like, gear for the past three mods. They may have jumped in to do an MTOS or two with you. But a lot of people that say this stuff, they don't really know, like, it's like, let's say, like, I asked, if I told someone in our guild, that, no, you're not allowed to join, I did that, like, Alliance B. There's a small chance that I don't, like, fully know who that person is entirely. And I'm like, no, you cannot go join that alliance because I don't like that, like, person B. And it's just, like, you getting dragged into their drama sort of a thing. Yeah. Whereas what it should be is, hey, go over there. There's more, there's other people that play over there. You might get into more runs over there. Maybe it's a higher level alliance. Maybe it's a lower level alliance. Maybe, like, it fits what you want to do at the time. Like it, like ev like every alliance. I don't care what alliance it is. There's not a one fight, one size fits all alliance. Mm -hmm. Not one alliance that's going to like meet all your demands. Or sorry, meet the demands of every single game. They're simply not. Like there, there's not alliance in this game that goes from the top to the descendant, all the way down to the bottom, running like Cragmire Crypt on Cragmire Crypts on the regular to get seal gear. Like it doesn't exist. Like, there's not a line like that that I'm aware of on Xbox, anyway. I can't come on PC or PS4. But to have the opportunity to have a tune in an upper-end alliance that's running MGO or TMA all the time, and having one at the bottom that's doing, like, advanced queues and trial queues to get seal gear because your top-end alliance ain't doing those that regularly. Like, it gives you more opportunity to, to do more different things, and that should be the main point, but it's not. It's like, oh, I've got an issue with this person, so you're you're not allowed to join. Like, it's just people will say as well loyalty, but like, 
it's one or two tunes like even well, if i don't it's not even understand tunes, like... the loyalty aspect of it because being being in two different alliance doesn't negate loyalty to either one of them so to speak like it loyalty isn't based on like an all or nothing sort of aspect like they can be in two different alliances and still be productive to both honestly like yes that's the truth no, that's of the what... matter but that's my point. Like, I, I don't understand, like, those aspects of, like, why people get, like, a lot of these answers are going to fall. Like, all these questions are like, going to sort of, like, intertwine once mm -hmm. we get there. But, like, it's just such a just, like, you know what? I, I, I literally cannot explain it, like, why people get upset over this sort of stuff. And it's, like, far too regular when people do. Mm -hmm. Like, far too regular. I will fall into the other ones. Okay, the next thing that causes the third one a, lot, a lot, a lot of drama, a lot of drama, a lot of drama, and I'm not really sure, I mean, I can guess why, obviously, everybody can guess why, so that is leaving a guild, so when you leave a guild, how much drama have you caused in the game by leaving a guild? Surprisingly... <laughs> surprisingly this causes a lot of drama and to me in my head I can't really figure out the aspect behind it that 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 upsets the most whether it's just like oh they left me is it like rejection on your part or whatever or or, or what is it that, that makes people so so mad that somebody left their guild because I don't understand it honestly a lot of times when people leave a guild, they're leaving because they're not satisfied where they are. They're not satisfied with how things are going there. They're not satisfied with the way it's making their gaming experience. They're not satisfied in whatever kind of aspect. Nobody's sitting over here and they're like, I'm going to leave this guild, but I'm super pumped about this guild and I love it so much and all of this jazz. Like, If somebody leaves your guild, they're probably leaving your guild because you're not doing what they're expecting of the guild. And so, like, to me, that says you need, as like, as, like me as a guild leader, Kian's an officer, the senior, he's my rank six in our guild, like, that means we need to take a look at why seven. they left. And we need to adjust to be like, oh, like, okay, so maybe we should try to address the issues as to why they're leaving rather than just getting pissed off that they left or something like that. Like, that makes no sense to me to be mad at a player for leaving your guild. I can understand, okay, so I, I can kind, I can't, I don't even want to say I can understand. I can kind of understand back in like, so the Tom days and all of these things where people were coming in and like you're training up people. People are joining your guild just to get carry runs and stuff like that. And they're coming into your guild and you're putting in the work and you're, you're helping these people out and then they're leaving and bailing and going somewhere. I can get that. Like that's a sense of being used. That's. That stuff, you know, like, that's understandable in a sense. But at the, at the end of the day, that's not really, it's not really the majority of the cases of why people leave guilds. They're leaving guilds because of drama going on within the guild with, with multiple people, one person, whatever. They're leaving for inactivity. They're leaving for not being able to get into runs. They're leaving, they're leaving for a number of things. Most of which are not because, oh, they came in, got what they wanted, and now they're gone. I don't think. I mean, maybe it is. I, I don't know. What do you What do you think about leaving a guild? You took some of my points, and I'm sad. But like, <laughs> like the, the the main the main one is like the main reason why people leave guilds is like straight up is they're not happy where they are. Whether it be like they're not getting picked up for runs. Like, I think that like the the weird thing with the the drama as well is the majority of drama. And it goes back into the line scene again with like not knowing like or, like not every like every single guild leader in this game doesn't know every single one of the members inside and out and play with them all the time. You don't have time for that if you've got like a hundred plus people in your roster. You, you straight up don't. Like you don't play with all of them on a regular basis. You would literally need like three or four of you to do that to like fill like accommodate that time. And a lot of the drama like my first hand experience with this drama in different guilds and different alliances. A lot of people get annoyed when people they don't even know leave their guild. Another guild. 
and then they'll, they'll just go like they'll just pull all their tunes out without saying anything and they'll just, they'll just get annoyed i'm just like like how like i like i'd understand if this was a person like you've known for a very very long time like like you've known them for like let's say two three years you've known them for super super long time and they just bolted without a word but like there are people like like there are people like in this game who have shit talked their guild members those guild members will then leave and then some guild leaders will be upset that these people have left because they haven't said a word like like they don't care like, <clears throat> so that they, brings they, me they, to they, like they... another point though because you keep, you said it twice too now so you're saying without saying a word and stuff it's that people yeah. are leaving without saying a word so in most alliances that i've been in i haven't played for a super long time i just replied in here that i've played since 2020 i started like really getting into the game during covid lockdown um so i've been in a couple of alliances since then and every single one of them it was so like there's a there's a rule like this rule within these alliances where if it's like moving but this goes back to having tunes in different guilds or moving between guilds and stuff like that they want you to ask permission to do so like you need to you need to discuss it with the guild leader of of the guild that you're going to and stuff and like make sure it's okay for you to leave from one guild to go into another guild and at the end of the day i'm like what I, I mean, I understand the premise behind it and, and like the courtesy aspect of it and things like that. But in real world, real, real world functionality, think about that. So take think about it in terms of like a professional sense as well. So you say you want to go into your job and turn in resignation. Are you going to go into your job and turn in resignation and be like, do I have your permission to do this? No, you're going to go in there and you're going to say, hey, I'm going over here bottom line like you don't need permission to to leave somewhere like the courtesy aspect of it and say not saying a word and stuff like that i get that in terms of like the in like being informative and saying like hey this is what i this is what i want to do and this is how i'm going to go about my gaming experience but instead it's like a it's always phrased as like a you need to ask if it's okay and i don't get that I don't get that. I never have. I never understood that. And I never really like, what, what are you going to do? Tell them no? You're going to be like, no, you can't go. At that you, point, <laughs> they'll just pull all their tunes out. And say <laughs> what, no. what logic is that? Like, where is the logic in that? To be like, oh, yeah. Like, I know you want to leave my guild, but I'm going to tell you, no, you can't leave. And I'm going to also know now that you're unhappy here. You're not satisfied with your experience. Like, I now have, like, this person who's, like, resentful of whatever in terms, like, what? I don't even understand it. Like, there's no, no sense whatsoever in any kind of thing like that. <sighs> People, I tell you. But that actually causes a whole lot of drama a lot of times. Is people leaving without saying anything to their guild leader at all and, and at the end of the day in my head like I'm of the opinion that like it's a courtesy really it's a courtesy and I get that like you want people to operate in a polite manner and stuff and have, show you the show you the respect that you would show them like just a heads up or something would be nice I agree I agree with that but also if they don't give you a heads up and they just leave or whatever they do I, I'm not gonna sit here and be like Oh my God, they're they're just the worst. The nerve. <laughs> the nerve. The nerve of these like, people. I, they left because they wanted to leave. Like it's better for you to let them go if they're not happy where they are. I don't know. It frees up a spot to invite someone who wants to be there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it does. Like uh. we've had it happen over here as well. Like in our guild, like like we've had multiple people, and like we're we like. We're a training guild, so like we build people up. Like the amount of people that we've helped, like, bid in parties with them for like multiple hours to help them with their tune, tell them where to go next, and they just dip. And I'm just like, I don't care. Like, yeah, they, like, they, I they're don't... obviously. At just... the end of the day, nobody owes me anything in this anything. guild. Anything. Yeah. Like, no, I mean, in this, in this game, nobody owes me anything. 
Like, I'm not expecting anything from anybody. Even if I help you or something, like, I don't expect anything from you in return. It's I, If I'm doing it, it's because I'm choosing to do it. Nobody's making me do anything anyways. So, I, I don't know. I just, I never understood that. I never have. But that is a rule that is very, very common within... A lot of alliances <laughs> that you need to ask permission to do stuff, which I'm not mocking it. That's a rule in our current alliance, and I don't necessarily agree with it. However, it is the rule of our alliance, and we follow it. But at the end of the day, I don't agree with it. I don't really understand why it is a rule to begin with. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, the next topic... Also, a very hot topic <laughs> is not... So, we talked about leaving a guild. Now, let's talk about inviting other people to your guild. <laughs> poaching, if you will. Why is it called poaching? Why is it called poaching to begin with? I'm not sitting here and, like, trying to snipe players out of another... I, like, what, what is the definition of poaching? I'm going to look that up. Hold on. I feel like that's like killing elephants for their tusk. <laughs> I don't know. Elf E. I should have looked this up. Poaching. Hold on. Erica's preparation. Illegally material. hunt or catch. Think about that. Ooh, we're getting... Illegally hunt or catch people. So you can invite someone to your guild from another guild because that's considered poaching most of the time, which is by definition. Mm. Illegally hunting or catching things. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, I think. I don't understand it. I've always had the opposite. Like, idea to. Like, everyone's like, poaching standard is. A lot of people will say that, oh, this person. Po like, we've. Like, on Xbox, we've had a huge. Like, the, the poaching word, like, during the Tom days, was thrown around so much. Like, it was... I'm not going to say the word, because you're going to make fun of me if I say the word. Say the you word. You can do the C. C. Yeah. Coach. During the Tom days, it was complete carnage. That, oh, that, that word just getting chucked about. It <laughs> was Poaching. Just, it was crazy. Yes. Like, my, idea of po my idea of poaching the entire time is, as always... The word I associate with poaching in this game is unhappiness. If, if I'm happy in the alliance, which I was, like, I've been happy in, like, the majority of the alliances, when I joined them, like, like I've got no issues joining them, like, like, yada yada yada. The only time I've ever left an alliance was if I'm, I was unhappy with what I got or what was going on in the alliance. Like, I have mm. never been poached. When I've been happy in an in alliance. Yeah. So, so, like, to me, so poaching to me means okay. So, like, let's 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 talk about like what people are saying when they're saying, "Oh, you're poaching people." People are blacklisted, blacklisted from alliances, with the description of poaching. Like that is a blacklistable offense in s several alliances, actually. And I'm like, oh, what? Okay, so. To me, in order for that to be something of, like, a blacklistable offense or something <laughs> in that nature, I would think that this is somebody offering somebody in-game currency or, or goods and stuff to join their guild and leave the other one. We've heard of this happening with the intention of, like, destroying guilds and things. And it, it happens, it's happened quite several times, actually on this platform like that to me is yeah. is poaching in a sense but for examples like give you an example say just the other day i invited in several people into my guild one of them is in a guild that is a dead guild currently that was the first one of them that i invited he's in a dead guild it doesn't have activity no harm no foul the other ones joined in from another guild it is an active guild they came over and they joined like, we helped them out for, like, a week and a half, ran, ran some trials with them and stuff. And then just yesterday, they all pulled their tunes back out of the game. I mean, back out of our guild and went back to 
not, I say back to their original guild, but it's not even back to their original guild. Only some of them went back to their original guild. The others were never in that guild on these tunes to begin with, but they also went into that guild. And then the whenever I asked about it, because I was like, hey, why'd you leave? What's going on? I was told that I poached these people and I'm creating drama <laughs> by, by inviting them from another person's guild into my guild. When in reality, the way the conversation went down was it started because I talked to, I asked somebody about their dead guild and I literally said, are you happy in your guild right now? And he said, it's lonely. That was the conversation. And I said, oh, join ours then. And so he did. And then he also brought some of his friends along. And it, like, it was me saying to like, bring your friends along. Like, we'll all play together. No harm, no foul. Never once in my head did I sit there and I say, did I, did I do it with any vindictiveness or anything like that? Never once was I like, I'm about to destroy these people. Like, never once did I have any negative thought or in any kind of capacity regarding the guild that they came from. Never once. Like, these are, these are people I consider friends in the game. There are people that Kian considers friends in the game. And they brought one tune over to our guild. <laughs> and now we're the bad different. guys. We're bad guys It would be different as well this. if, you know, I guess, on top of that, if we're, like, asking, hey, you got to bring every single one of your tunes over here right now. Like... A lot of them, you know, it, like none of that, like none of their hands were forced to join. Like, like, Literally, a, lot of the people yeah, no. that, that, a lot of their friends didn't even join our guild. But you know what? We still ran with them. Yes, we still we played really with them. At go, no like, point did we put any conditions on it. And no point did I say, like, I will help you only if you join or anything like that. It was just simply a matter of like, hey, yeah, no, you just, just join. Like I told the one that was in the dead guild to come over. And then he has to bring your friends with you. And he did. He did. He brought several of his friends with him. And I, to me, I don't see an issue in that. But others see an issue in that. And at the end of the day, like, is that poaching? Is that really poaching? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm a poacher. If I'm a poacher, then I don't understand how this game can survive. If you can't invite players from other places if somebody is willing to join your guild to begin with from somewhere else like that should idea, speak yeah. anyways right i don't think about polar chains well like if you if you want like if, if if you don't agree with like what i'm saying what eric is saying like another way you can look at it is is if you think that's poaching well the thing about poaching is if poaching if that happens a lot to your guild as well a lot of the, some of this is like looking in the mirror as well is you're not doing your job as a guild if multiple people are willing to leave your guild or if, and bring one tune over like like it's the course sort of stems back to like is leaving the guild as well it's like poaching in a sense a lot, a lot of people don't like like they'll throw out the word poaching to cover up the fact that you're not doing the best of jobs as a guild like and that's why people are leaving. Like people will throw out the poaching words, like "Oh, he poached this person from me. He's such a bad person." When in reality, that person would never have left if you had just done your job as the guild leader, exactly. the guild officer, the senior. Like if you did your job properly, they would never have left. Exactly. They would have no intention of leaving. And that like in terms of on... these things as well, like I don't get, I don't get the premises behind it of like how why why like i can i can understand people's anger in it if it's a matter of actually being like doing it with like intent or like to be vindictive and stuff like that. <laughs> like if you're intentionally doing it to hurt or something like that but at the end of the day most people aren't doing that i mean maybe some are i don't know I don't know, it, maybe I have, like, everybody all wrong and there are, like, literal turds in the game that do do that. <laughs> but I know, speaking from experience, that I wasn't doing it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I think the word is thrown around way too, like, way too much sort of a thing. As in, like, any, like, 
communication between like if like we if we took a single player from any guild, say, hey, how's your guild? Like as you said, it, it's dead. It's a dead guild. It was once a very popular guild. It is now a guild who probably would be lucky to get two or three players on in the entire alliance, like your your dad's alliance. It's mm-hmm. like and like the same people that would like try that we poach these players they've got tunes in multiple guilds as it is like how, how like so it, it's poaching like like it's poaching for us but not poaching for them who like for the other guild leaders like i'm confused about that like yeah. like they've got tunes in other guilds but we're the ones that are poaching but yeah. they've moved tunes like these like multiple people like in this scenario have moved between guild to guild to guild to guild look at jmo I don't cry to voodoo that he got guilds like I do cry poached. to voodoo he... that he poached JMO. <laughs> <laughs> well, <maybe laughs> because he then. did. I'm just kidding. Look in but the mirror, that's then. literally said in a joking manner. I don't care yeah. that JMO has a tune in his guild. I don't care. <laughs> like it's I'm happy like for him. Whatever. If he wants to play with J-Mo. them, he plays with them. He yeah. joins their guild runs. He it... helps them out. Like yeah. so what? It's more so opportunities what? to run. It's it's literally a positive. And people will make a negative out of a positive, which yeah. is just bonkers. In a game like this as well, where the community isn't healthy, sort of a thing, like giving your players more chances to play with more people, like the fact that people can see a negative in that and only see the negative, rather than oh, it's a positive. They might get extra runs, like per se. Like it's just, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just think differently than everyone else. I don't know. I don't know yeah. either. What do, does anybody in the chat have anything that they think about that? Y'all can type it because oh. it's up. <laughs> Anyways, but going back, I want to go back to like leaving a guild too. So I've left a couple of guilds in this game and every time I've left, it's never been a positive experience on the other side of it. Like, I've been judged because I've left that guild, so to speak. By, by like the people that were in the guild I've actually I've like well I've lost friends over it I've done whatever and like at the end of the day because I remember and and this is actually funny because my even my dad got mad at me <laughs> one time for leaving oh, his, leaving his guild and like I got I could I could get that because he really like you know he really helped me out and he really like brought me up through like how to play it and teaching me a bunch of stuff but ultimately like the, the guild wasn't wasn't an in-game guild and there was no more progression left to be made in that so i left the guild to go to an in-game guild and whenever i left over into that guild i consistently like still try to play with with people from the other guild and all of that stuff but like it was never it was never like the same so to speak and not because i wasn't trying to play with them it was because they no longer wanted to play with me because I wasn't over there anymore. And I remember whenever I left the guild that I was in to, to set up my own guild. Like, I was actually, like, kind of terrified whenever I left there. But at the time, like, it was most definitely what was best for me to leave that guild. And, like, there was, like, I, I was actually, like, man, I nobody's going to play with me. Nobody's going to want to play with me anymore. I'm not going to have anybody to play with. Like, the, the whole point of this game to me and the fun in it is the people that you're playing with. And so I was actually concerned and worried because I was, like, who am I going to play with sort of thing. <laughs> and so, yes, and, and, like, for a little while, there was, like, this period where, it, it was, like, me and Kian running around doing stuff and, like, pub queuing and things. But, like, ulti- like there, there was, like, there's, like, my little set group of friends who, who never, like, really stopped playing with me. But there are a lot of people who didn't really play with me anymore. And to me, that's, that's sad. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. I don't know. Um... The next thing that I want to talk about is something else that seems to cause issues. And I've experienced it. I'm, maybe others have experienced it as well. I don't know. And that is playing with people who are blacklisted by your alliance. So when somebody lands on the blacklist of an alliance, what that says to me is that they are not allowed to join a guild 
in that alliance. That's what that says. Like, I don't know where the consensus came from that said, oh, because such and such wants to blacklist this person, now no one in this alliance is allowed to play with them at all. And if you do, you're going to hear about it. I don't know where that came from. It's the most absurd thing that I've ever heard. Just because you've got beef with somebody doesn't mean I've got beef with them. And just because you don't like them doesn't mean I don't have to like them. Like, I don't get that. Yes, most alliances have a blacklist and it's got people on there that are on there. A lot of them are on there for, for, for good reasons, I guess, <laughs> you know, like some of them are just, mm. some of them are silly stuff, like where somebody just has, has beef with them and stuff. Like I've, I've been blacklisted in alliances actually for poaching in one, <laughs> like for one person joining another, another guild, I got blacklisted for poaching. But at the end of the day, like, at this, uh, it goes into to one of the next points, too, about forming, for, like, okay, so f forming an opinion on someone before ever meeting them based on someone else's perception or tales that they may have or stories or interactions or whatever that they have with another person in the game. So, for some reason in this game, we expect everyone to fall in line with what we think about other people, sort of. Thing. I'm guilty of it, too. Don't get me wrong, because it's, it's actually come up recently where I'm just like, I cannot believe that, that people hang out with people like this. Like, I just, I, I don't understand it, because to me, that says, like, a lot about yourself, I guess. I don't know that you continue to put yourself in those situations, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say there. I feel like it's probably going to just come off me sounding very hypocritical, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> but for the most part, okay, so there's there's a lot of people that, that play this game and have played this game for a very long time. Very long time. Like, some, some since it started on the Xbox and all of that jazz. There's people who play this game and they no longer, like, they, they took a break for, like, I don't even know how long. And now they're coming back into the game. But there's drama associated with them from however many years ago with whoever that doesn't even play the game anymore. And, and there's tales of these people as well that you hear about because, like, people just constantly talk about them and constantly, like try to drive home about how they're such a such a horrible person and like all of this stuff but like I don't I don't know this person I don't know them at all they've never done anything to me I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh I'm not gonna play with that person because of all of this stuff like I'll make my own mind up about someone and until they give me specifically a reason to not like them or to not play with them then I won't kind of thing like, I'll, I'll exercise caution, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a just steer clear of, of this person because of whatever this other person has going on with them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Which does make me very hypocritical. I get it. <laughs> because at the same time, I expect my friends to back me up in situations where, like, if people are shit-talking me or something like that, like, I would expect a, a, a true friend of mine to be like, oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to, like, you want to talk shit about my friend, like, I'm not going to play with you kind of thing. But that doesn't always happen. Rarely does, actually. Anyways. But to be fair, in that sense, it's not someone else's perception of them in that manner. It's more like they'll people will actively, like, shit talk, shit talk you to your friends and your friends are, are there and are, are okay with it sort of thing. <laughs> like, that's where there's a line that gets crossed in terms of like, oh, okay. Then it's okay to, then it's okay to be mad, I feel. Anyways. <sighs> so, yes, no. The playing with blacklisted people has caused issues it, it's in several occasions that I'm aware of where, like, I've been 
a, like approached before too by leaders and such and been like, oh, you're playing with this person. You shouldn't play with them because of the, like it looks bad and stuff like that. And I'm mm. like, I don't care. I don't care. Like they've never done anything to me like ever. I, I don't have any negative experience with them. I don't care that they're blacklisted. Mm. It makes no difference to me. And the fact that there are the people in this game that will sit there and they will peep into your parties and like look and see who you're playing with and go run off and tattle to whoever about who you're playing with. What are you doing in life, people? What are you doing? Why is this what you do? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Another thing as well is like it, 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 it sort of stems into both, I guess. Like playing with blacklist of people and then form your own opinion of said people is a lot of the time and I, I mean I'm guilty of it as well I have formed my own opinions but like having still to this day never met some people I probably don't think the same of those people now based on like a rational thought process is a lot of the time and you people forget this is a lot of the time when you hear something about a certain player is you will only get their side of the story you will not get the others like there are plenty of examples in Xbox where player A will hate player B. And player A is the person who told me that player B is a very, very naughty person. He's very bold and you shouldn't play with player B. But what they're not telling you is that they are also engaging in the same thing that player B is doing. And they're talking smack back to them. You can't give, you can't give it, sorry, and not, and not take it back and then go crying to someone else and say, Oh, this person's a really bad person when you yourself have done that. Like that that that's another thing as well that drives me bonkers. It's just like people will like try and like make you form an opinion of someone, but but you'll only ever get one side to that story. Like I've got multiple experience <clears throat> on Xbox where someone said, This is a very, very bad person. I have literally played with that said person. One prime example, not gonna name names, but I played with that person for seven, eight months. We were in parody all the time. And I, I mean, all I've ever heard is negative things about him. Whenever I played with him, he's literally, he was, for those seven or eight months, he was fine. No issues whatsoever. Never said a bad thing to me at all. But I'm expected to think that this guy is just an entirely bad person based off of your experiences with him and only your experience with him. And I'm supposed to have this negative opinion on this it's like no the only experiences i've had with that person and it was over a long period of time were only good but i'm expected to say oh no this guy this guy's very bold and very not you should not play with him and it's just it, it's ludicrous and it goes back into the the alliance thing again where you can't like play with other people and other alliances move your tunes is yeah. they're trying to get you involved in their drama yeah and it's just like a never-ending cycle of drama and it's just bonkers yeah. Okay. So like, there's so, there's there's these people who existed in this game before I even played this game. Like, I don't even I I don't even never met them, never played with them, but have heard nothing but bad things about these people and stuff. And it's like, why? So okay. So even now, some of these people have come back into the game. And it's been tossed around through several different things of like, oh, should we like, should, like, is it okay for them to join the, the alliance? Is it okay for them to be in these guilds and all of this stuff? Nobody knows them. Nobody knows them in the game right now. The people that had these issues with them that have been like perpetuating these tales and all of this stuff, they don't even play anymore. So we're sitting here and we're tossing around all of these things when none of us have had first-hand experience with any of the people. None of us know any of them. None of us have ever played with them in any kind of way. But we're expected to make a judgment call one way or another. And, like, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out where, like, the logic comes in where it's like, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to say no because of all of these things. When it's... When people talk crap about people in Neverwinter, it's... Like, people... It's... Why? It's a game. <laughs> Most of all. Like, it's a game. I understand that there are, like, genuinely weird people out there that are sending around pecker pictures. <laughs> like, I pecker. Don't know. <laughs> like, those guys? Okay. Yeah. Maybe don't play with them. <laughs> 
But at the end of the day, like, if it's because of drama that somebody had with somebody and they got in an argument over whatever or whatever happened six years ago, like, I don't care. I don't care. And it doesn't affect me at all today or the decision that I'm going to make whether I'm going to play with them or not. Period. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know on that one. <laughs> it's just... Um... Yeah, like a lot of people who will tell you, like, try and let, let you form an opinion. Even if you were to ask them, but what have you done to them? They'll respond to you and say, oh, I've done nothing to that person. That would be the initial response is, oh, I've done nothing to them. I, 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 I don't know why they do this to me. Like, you're just expected to have this opinion of certain people. And the thing is, with Neverwinter, I mean, I've been in other community spaces as well where the exact same thing has sort of happened. Ark being a prime example, umph, that was a, a community and a half, but uh, that sort of stuff spreads like, like wildfire, like opinions on people is, it will spread from person to person to person very quickly, and then half the game has never met this one person, or this group of people, but they all have the same opinion of them, even though they've never met them before, they've got mm. no idea what they sound like, they've never been part, they haven't even been in a run with them, but for some reason, because... Some people blabbered their mouth, gave their side to the story. An opinion of that person has now been set. And all that does is cause more and more drama in the game. It just snowballs like crazy. I do understand there's beefs. There was a lot of beefs in this game. All you had to do in this game back a couple, like, 10, 15 mods ago, sit in Icewind Dale. You saw some toxic stuff going Cash down. Cash me in out. But Wait. The... Damn it. Care. Ca no. Ca damn it. <laughs> Oh boy. What is it? This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> what is this it? Is what what is with. the thing? I didn't even play. I don't know. How you tell somebody to meet you there to to PvP? <laughs> 1v1 Icewind Dale right now. 1v1! That's it. There you go. <laughs> 1v1 would be nice. Like, like, I've seen, like, I've seen some talking stuff. Like, I understand if, like, to a degree, if you have that sort of a beef, beef because there was some toxic stuff going down. But, like, all those people that played in Icewind Dale, back like mods ago, they were all sitting in their like little thrones, just sitting on the edge. None of them play anymore. Like maybe five, three, four, five percent of them play. However, those three or four or five percent of people that still play will then tell the ninety-five percent of the the new player base that hey, see this person here, he's an asshole. He did this, that, and the other. And then, a, like, an opinion is made on that person. To the new generation, that new yeah. generation will say, "Hey, these, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just stupid." Like those two things, like the not playing with people who are blacklisted, and just form your own opinion on like, like don't immediately like, even if they're your friends, like your friend could have a hatred for someone, and then you could blindly follow that, and say, "Yeah, that's my opinion now." Make your own opinion when you meet that person, like. Because a lot of times with these opinions of like these certain players, they haven't played Neverwinter for three or four years. Even if they were toxic. Who's to say they're toxic now? They might be completely different. Maybe yeah. they want to stay away from this toxic. It's just, yeah. This point went on way too long. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's there's plenty of drama that goes on in this game. <laughs> right? Even still, go sit in port for a little while. You'll, uh, you'll see all of it. Like, it's just people... people talking crap to no, talk crap and, and there are people who yeah. who perpetuate drama just because it's what they do and they thrive off it that's what they enjoy doing in the game for some reason i don't know but like i don't know even some of those people though i'm sitting here and i'm like i, I i've never had an issue with them i play with them i don't care like you're not gonna you're not gonna come to me and tell me like, this person's blacklisted, I can't believe you're playing with them, you shouldn't play with them, or something like that, when they've never done anything to me, and I don't have a reason, I didn't blacklist them, but I must, I'm just supposed to be supportive of the alliance, I guess, I don't know, and that's the, that's the mentality behind it, or something, I don't know, I, like, I'm not gonna invite them into my guild, but... At the same time, you didn't just put any kind of sentence on me to where I can't play with who I feel like playing with in the game. Mm. I, 
feel like this is going to come across as like I'm trashing my alliance right now. I'm not, this is no, in no way directed at my alliance right now (laughs) (laughs) whatsoever. It's just experiences that have occurred and things that I hear from other people and just topics that come about frequently and things that you can observe for yourself just by sitting in the game for five minutes. No. Anyways. The only, the only other side to that last point is what I'm talking about in general are like the non extremes of like what person A has done to person B. There are of course in this game extremes that people have done. Like it's like where whether it be they're taking it out of the game, they're doing weird shit in the game, <laughs> then I can fully understand to a degree forming an opinion of said person. If multiple people say the same thing about that person, it's like it's just be careful at that point. Just don't play with that person. If multiple people yeah. say that, like exercise there's like extreme like that person. <laughs> yes, exercise caution at that point. <laughs> Form an opinion to a degree, but yeah, if multiple people are saying an extreme, you probably want to avoid that person. But I think that should be like I'm more talking... defined. If that's the if that's the ex- expectation that like alliances and guild leaders and stuff have is that they're gonna get mad at you because you're playing with somebody on the blacklist then they should like be forthcoming with that upon joining and be like, hey, if they're blacklisted and we catch you in a run with them, it's going to be some shit. You're out. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's... shut up about it. <laughs> like, that's the way I feel. I mean, that's, that's another point that I could make, I think. What? I think people should like... Like, I, like for what people... Like, it, it goes back to the Alliance thing at this point as well as... A lot of people are like upset when, like, when you run with stuff, when you run with people, when like the reasoning behind it is so petty. It's so little. Like I, like, I'd understand if it was one of those extreme cases. Like we've got a couple of extreme cases on Xbox, yada yada yada. A lot of the times when we get cut, like called out for like running with person A or whatever, is they're very small things, you know. And there's two sides to to most of the stories. And it's just like, oh my hell sake. Like just just let like you don't you don't like you like and a lot of time as well when we're running with that person is like they don't run with us. That that's like they, they do not run with us. But they care that we're running with a person that they had like a small falling out with. Yeah. Like it's just I don't know, it's this point went on way too long. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> it's okay. It was a good yeah. point. It was a good point. <laughs> hell sake. Okay, next up. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this one I actually find quite humorous and I don't I don't fully understand the concept behind it I mean I guess I can if I if, if I really try I don't I, uh, no I can't anyways oh this is oh, go for it. politics <laughs> why oh, do God. politics the American do this make American so this? many people mad in this game <laughs> like if somebody I can't answer this question, wants, I'll get in trouble. It, it's and a lot of it too. Like, don't get me wrong. There's there's people from all over the world that play this game. Um, it, it is an American based game. There, a large population is American. There's but there's a lot of people from everywhere else that does play it. So, <laughs> there has been several instances since I've played this game of just unbelievable quantities of drama that have been spurred by one simple line being typed in in the alliance chat or something and that is Trump 2024 <laughs> or 2020 or 2016 or whatever year it is I don't even know why like why is that so offensive to the point to where it's literally caused everybody else to have to suffer because now we have to sit and watch you two argue about it as well and it's like i don't get it like nobody nobody i i i'm i don't know i mean i guess if i'm sitting over here i'm not gonna be angry if somebody types the hell king charles i don't even know i don't know what other countries say i'm american <laughs> But it doesn't offend me, and I don't understand why that's so offensive. And I'm actually really hoping somebody can explain that um, in the comments whenever this goes on my YouTube. Because I don't understand it. 
I don't understand why, why, whether it's just because of a difference in political beliefs, a difference in, in whatever, but it's not like they're trying to force, <laughs> I mean, maybe because you had to read it. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I'm Southern American. <laughs> However, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. But this has caused so much drama in terms of people just typing political political things in, in, in chats and then people being offended by the fact that they've posted political things in, in chats. And, like, I'm pretty sure it actually dissolved an alliance or something <laughs> like, i don't even know it's crazy it's caused it's caused more issues than it should have ever caused <laughs> uh, i mean if, if i had one that i put in because it's, it's one of the following points and i always want to i want to save the line for later but um yeah i've never understood it i mean there is literally a new function like built into this game for a reason i do understand like that, like, you know, some people are like, oh, we can't have this person running rampant, but like, it, it's, it's literally just an opinion. Well, okay, like, so, but there's a difference. It, there's different ways to handle that. Okay, so take, for example, so let's say it's a case of this, so they're, they're typed, they've typed whatever in the Alliance chat and they're, they're sitting there spamming it or whatever. The issue there is that Wait, what? Anyway, the issue there is that they're spamming Alliance chat. <laughs> like, and, and nobody wants to see anybody spamming Alliance chat, really. Like, that's the issue. Not that they're spamming the Alliance chat, some political whatever they're, they want to spam or whatever. And, like, address it in the manner of which it needs to be addressed, I guess. I don't know. Because you have, like, the people who will respond to it as well. And I've actually seen it on multiple occasions where you, where you get the people who are just, like, so offended. And they're like, I play this game to have fun, not to have your political views impressed upon me. <laughs> and it's like, whoa. <laughs> like, how how did that become from, from me just typing? Or not me, particularly, because I don't care one way or another. I'm not very political. I don't get involved with any of it. Maybe that's why I don't care about this matter. But... Like, just, 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 just silence them or mute them or block them or do whatever you have to do rather than doing that. And I also get at the end of the day that if it's a numerous amount of people that are having, like, are so offended by it and all of this stuff, why should all of those people have to go through the inconvenience of blocking one person? Because they can't stop what they're doing in a sense of that. But, like, at the end of the day, is it really a whole lot of people? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you guys offended by political chat? I don't know. Or, or, I don't even know who else here. Ken, are you offended by political chat? Absolutely not. I, I, I mean, it, I guess it comes down to like, a per, I don't even know if it's like a personality trait at that point that you get like offended by like political chat. It's like, I understand if someone's like spamming it. Like, even if like, Three people are spamming it. I mean, like, the time it takes you to mute someone, it literally takes two seconds in this game. You, you can, like, mute them and you'll never see a message again. And then, if the Alliance really don't like it, well, then it's up to the Alliance leaders to say, hey, chill out a little bit. Stop yeah. spamming. But if they, if, they, if they don't do it, I mean, like, it, it's so easy to avoid those situations by literally just hitting the mute button. Yeah. Like, if I go to my Xbox, I have muted <clears> hundreds <throat> of people. I guess that Just goes into the next point, though, like, ultimately. Because what you said is that that goes down to the alliance leaders telling them to stop doing whatever because they're bugging whoever or whatever. And so the next thing that, like, really also creates a lot of drama, which obviously it would, is people who shit talk people or troll people just to get a rise out right. of them. And then... Before you say it. What? Okay, with the trolling practice, I want to say my line just in case you steal it. Oh my god. This is a PSA for everyone that gets involved with a troll. And it's the one way to stop a troll. Every troll reaction 
is after a reaction. If you do not give a troll a reaction, they will disappear. It's the like, oh, I struggle the, with it. <laughs> like 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 honestly, the amount of times like when I played other games, there are trolls in every game. If you think Neverwinter has good trolls, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. Neverwinter's got terrible trolls. So, and even in the better games, like in better games, slow. The better trolls in other games, like every time I have been targeted by a troll, I've been targeted by trolls in many games. Like I have got chat requests like out the wazoo of people trying to troll me. If you do not respond to these people, some of them are persistent. I will give them that, but they do get bored. They are literally just after a reaction out of you, and if and they will thrive off that reaction. If you just sit there, stare them in the face, and just don't react. They'll walk away. They will get bored eventually. They might True. find it fun at the time. However, like, should you uh, have to suffer through that? <laughs> should you have to sit there and, like, this person just be allowed to do that to you or whatever and, like, other people be aware of that sort of thing? Like, I, I can see both sides of that, really. Like, I get, like, don't give them a reaction, blah, 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 blah. But, like, that doesn't always necessarily well, I mean, instantly like, result in, general, in, like, in, in a like, result of them leaving you alone or anything. Like, but, so there's there's these, there's there's people who, like, just like, get joy out of doing this. And and if you say no, That's that they have gotten thing. a rise out of you. And so take, for I'll instance, that, that political talk in the in the chat back there. <laughs> If, no one if the it, guild it leader speaks to them and they say, hey, so like such and such, you know, like this is causing issues, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. You think they're going to not do it? Or you think they're going to sit there and be like, <laughs> I don't even want to use the they term want. snowflake. Because <laughs> now yeah. everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> but like, it, all, all you're doing is giving them what they want at the end of the day showing them that they're winning i don't know i for one don't think that like i don't i don't really i I can't get behind the whole like oh we're just gonna troll people to troll people because that's what gets 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 me enjoyment in this game like i personally really dislike people like that and i don't think that anybody should have to have like their experience ruined because somebody else is just miserable on the inside and that's what makes them happy (laughs) like i i don't i don't get that and i don't get behind it and i don't appreciate people doing that to me i don't appreciate that people doing that to any of my friends i don't appreciate seeing it just in like to random bystanders in the game (laughs) like i personally see that as a negative quality in the in the person that's doing it and it's not something that i can get behind and i try to stay away from those people easy as that don't play with them block them do something anyways we're running out of time because we actually have a run scheduled in six minutes we're gonna be a little late to that (laughs) however we only have two more topics to talk about and they're really good ones (laughs) so one other thing that this isn't like something that causes drama necessarily i mean i guess it did at one point in time I'm not really sure. It's just something that I've known existed in the game for a long time. Well, since, ever since I've been playing, but it, I've never understood it in a sense of why people are like this. And I mean, it's to each his own. It's not. It's not necessarily. I don't think it's like illegal in terms. Not illegal, but like against the game rules or anything like that. But that is paying people to help you in the game whether it be paying with in-game items yes paying people with in-game items in the game so to me that's like we 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 saw it recently you know like with the mtos when mtos dropped we see in the the zone chat spans and stuff in pe about people willing to get people a comp and mtos for coal moats in which case i'm like I don't maybe I don't know if that's against terms of service. I'm not really sure. I don't think it it maybe I don't know. I don't even know. But to me, I don't understand like the concept of but this is this is my perspective and I don't expect it to be everyone's perspective and I know it's not like I know 
other people that I play with regularly have done this. And I don't, I'm not like sitting here and I'm like, oh, you, you guys are freaking crappy and all that stuff. It's just a difference in opinions. To me, if I help somebody in any kind of capacity, it's because I want to help them. And that's what I said earlier. It's not because, <laughs> it's not because I'm expecting something in return from them at all, ever, never. Like, I'm just helping because that's what I find enjoyable in the game. And, like, that's, I enjoy playing the game. And I enjoy playing with people. And I enjoy helping people. That's just what I do. But I'm never going to sit here and I'm never going to be like, hey, you owe me something for doing this. Or expect someone to pay me something. Or ask them that they do pay me something in advance. Don't help people in this game doesn't end well. Time out. Hold on. Let me talk about it. <laughs> Happens in pretty much every MMO. Voodoo yeah, selling I... MGR. Oh, God. Voodoo. Oh, brave of you. Brave of you. You best hope it's You not better hope it's the one run play. we get a comp for. Uh, I mean, I've got a split of pity not on too Oh, fair. yeah, I, I can't mean... help you on a barb either because we don't like barbs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I've got the split of pity not on Don't help people in this game doesn't end well. Why do you say that, Loey? Helping people on the... Oh, I timed out again. Oh, no. Anyways, I mean, I'm just saying in terms of whatever, like, and I know it's something that happens and I know it happens frequently. And to me, I'm not ever going to ask that of anyone, but I know people do ask that from people. (laughs) And like, I, I personally don't get it. (laughs) I mean, but I have been in runs as well, where it's been a run where other people in the run have gotten paid. To, to get that comp, and I've declined taking stuff for it just because, like, it's not something that I'm, I want to do. And that's always mm-hmm. something that other people can, can do, too, is just say, like, hey, yeah, no, I'm not about that. I'll just help you to help you if that's what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You don't have to take crap from people. I mean. Gross, dude. The way I look at it, so, so the way I look at it is. With the in-game item payment, um, it, it, it's split into two things and it happens on two different sides. Is There will be people who will charge their own friends for uh, completions. They will charge their own friends to, to get a comp. Mm. In my opinion, that's scummy, what not. If you, if you ha- feel the need that you need to say, hey, I expect this of you because I did this for you. I expect this sort of a payment. Cause, like, you're you're a scummy person at that point. Like, Why? Because it's your friends. On... Because the, like you should be expected to help your friends if they're a friend. Now on the flip side, and it comes into what I said. It happens every moment. It does. It definitely the people who will pay for who's who's pay for. I think they still do pay for carries at the lighthouse and all that stuff. Is if you could think of it as in like a tutor sort of a thing, like in real life, like you're helping someone to let's say get better at English or get better at like a language, at, at whatever it is. Like you're not, you don't know that person. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know that person. You don't know that person. Is you're giving up your time. But this is where I can, like, I can see the point of view sort of thing is in with Neverwinter as well. Is you're giving up your free time. Not many people have a lot of free time. But they're giving up their free time per se. This person, they don't, they don't even know. And this person is, to a degree, paying to win because they're paying their way into a group. It happens in every MMO. Mm-hmm. But the side I can <clears> see <throat> is, is those people have no allegiance. They don't know who you are. They're giving up their time of the day to run like this content. To, like, and in most cases, the runs are a little bit slower. Okay, they're, they're, but they're, there's two distinct lines between these things as well. Like, because you have the people who pay to be a campfire carry and to be invited in at the last second of runs just to get the completion or the chance to get a weapon or something like that. And then you have the people who 
you're bringing in who are going to be there for the duration of the run while they may be, or maybe they'll die out. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're running. Like a trial, most likely. If it's somebody who's never been experienced to it or something, they're probably not going to make it to the end. But in that scenario, like they're putting in effort, they're trying to learn, they're trying to pick it up, they're not trying to be like a campfire carry and just sit out there while everybody else does all the work and stuff. And like those are the distinctions where I'm like, that's somebody who actually wants help versus somebody who just wants a carry kind of thing. And so like to, to make someone pay for actually wanting to like learn and progress and and stuff like that's where I see a distinct line of like, that's something that I'm not going to do sort of thing. No, I get that. Like, like, no, I get that. It's like, it's, and I'm not saying like, like I'm condoning it per se, because we're, I mean, we're in a training guild. We don't expect anything from our guild. It's like, the amount of times I've sat in parties with people now for like two, two, three hours. You're welcome. With their tunes has been on. (laughs) Yes. Like, like, I'm not saying I condone it, but like I can see where people are like, you know, I like I've got no leash to this person, and like they're pretty much paying at that point to skip the queue, mm-hmm. so so to speak. They're paying for the achievement, or they're paying for the weapon, they're paying for whatever. They're, I mean, they're paying I guess to I get advance that. a lot. But I'm still not gonna do it just because I I oh, feel I don't dirty. Con- like, I, yeah, I'm not saying I condone <laughs> it, but I see the you know, it's like you have no leash to this person. This player says, hey, I mean they've advertised it obviously mm-hmm. but this person is like you know he's willing to pay like if someone because it's it's very hard as well at times and you'll see that with mgr like there's a lot of people who want to run mgr there's a lot of people who mess just want to run the mgr but and they want to do it just like th- like through just like skill alone but these players don't have the re- like i didn't have the resources until midway through tom like, I, I didn't know the people that were running Tom. I didn't have any of those resources available to me. If I could have paid someone, like, back then, hey, I'll give you 10 glorious packs if you could get me into 20 Tom runs and I can show you, hey, I can do this. So I think I would have probably done it. Like, it, it, it can be hard to get into that end game space if you have no references. Yeah. However, but, but then references you can get I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest, but, like, it, it, it's not a good thing, but, it, 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 like, advertising those runs can help those players a little bit. Not often, because they will get exposed when they get picked up, and that can be a bad thing. Because, like, it's like back in the old Tom days when people got their one Tom completion, and they had one weapon, and they would tag their scroll and go, I'm experienced, mm-hmm. and then they would get invited in, and then they would get demolished, and they would never be seen again. Like, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't condone it, but like, I, I, I can see the point of view of skip of people buying, skipping the queue, and like people offering that service to skip the queue, I guess, sort of a thing. I guess. Like, it's there. It is what it is. I feel like there's got to be a better way for people to like, get help. It, there is a better help. I mean, there is, I but guess. it's a slower way. I don't way. know. It's a slower way. It's like, it's the way I had to do it. Like, with Tom, I wanted to be in Tom in the door day one. Like, if someone had told me, like, before Tom that, like, two trials from now, yeah, you're going to get the first comp on Gonzo. I would have laughed at that first. Like, no, uh-uh, ain't happening. Like, I didn't have the resources to, like, get into endgame. Like, I was still, like, farming trial queues and shit. Like, mm-hmm. I, like that's, the, like, like, flipping back to one of the, the earlier questions is why I left my guild. I literally left my guild. Because we couldn't get out of phase one of Tom after the first month. The players around me were not what I wanted at that time. They were nowhere Oof. near what I wanted. Oof! <laughs> Sweet oomph. They weren't like, Oof. they weren't like, not not to be like snobby and say, oh, I'm going to do this and that. Sounded bad. snobby. Like, like I wanted <laughs> so to get into that end game space. But my alliance at that time, they could not offer that. And that's why I wasn't happy in that alliance, and I left. Yeah. I then moved to the to another alliance. And I, I still do. I mean, I tried my best. I couldn't get in there. Hell, I did get my I did get my carry runs. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I got my two runs. I got my two weapons, and I was out. But yeah, like it took me like yeah. 
so it's much tough. drama in this game. It's tough. But there yeah. but like in in that sense there are guilds and there are alliances out there that are willing to help people and not charge you for stuff and and actually mm. like commit time into helping you and helping you progress and stuff like that and it's just finding them, I guess. I don't know. But that like that comes out to patience and how long are you willing to wait at that point? Yeah. Because like that's fine and good for like content that's been out for us, like getting MTOS, you know, help and all that. It's fine now because, you know, two players can do the majority of the work. Like, you know, you we've got wizards now that can solo yeah. cocoons by themselves. I wouldn't Erica expect can't. to be getting in anything like oh like if you're still learning and or like you're trying to learn and I wouldn't like whenever I say there's still guilds and alliances out there that are still trying to, to, to that are that are willing to teach, don't expect to be in the day one group <laughs> trying to get in there or anything like that. Those those things are gonna be set up and it's you're probably not gonna get like any dedicated help or anything until they get to the point to where they're farming and stuff like that. Like in that in that sense is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Like I mean, I, like, I, I'm willing to help whoever or play with whoever. I mean, I say I'm willing to help like I know what I'm doing. I don't. I'm just pressing buttons and whatever. <laughs> whatever happens, happens. <laughs> like, it, but at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm still, like, available in a sense to anybody if they have a question. Like, I'm going to do my best to try to answer it. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to ask somebody that will know the answer or may know the answer. And I'm going to get back to you. I'm gonna do whatever just because it's, who, it's, it's the kind of person that I am and what I what I want to represent, I guess, in the game. And especially like the the reason I started the guild that we're running now is because like in the alliance before, and in other alliances and stuff, it's just like this repetitive cycle of people complaining about people not knowing what they're doing or even like pub queues. You hear it on the regular about the the state of the public queue. In the game and people just not knowing mechanics and stuff and like not being able to to progress or complete and do simple public cues and rather than these people like trying to really help anybody or do anything it's like it's like berating them in zone chat or like fussing at them and stuff or like I mean, maybe at one point they were like, hey, this is what you should do. And then, like, it didn't get done. And so, like, it eventually progressed to just this negativity and this negative attitude to where it's like, that's 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 most commonly what you see is people not really helping and just getting getting mad at, in a sense. What is all this? Anyways, and so that, that was the underlying, like, premises of why... I wanted to start a guild to where, like, I'm picking up people, for the most part, if I see you in the game and you don't have a guild, I don't care if you're level 1 or level 20, I'm probably going to send you an invite <laughs> into my guild. Just because I'm like, hey, fire. join our guild. Yeah, there was, like, a period of time Ice where if you loaded into Ice Fire Peak, every single level 8 character or level 6 or whatever level that is in that zone, they were all savage but average. <laughs> Like, our stronghold was ice fire peak yeah, yeah. I'm like it doesn't i don't care like to me i'd rather help somebody because in my mentality in terms of that is that i don't know if you all know this but at one point you were a level eight in ice fire peak as well and so like if you've progressed in the game and you've got to where you are in the game what's to say these people can't either and that's my yeah. outlook on it. And so that's why... There are hidden gems out there. Like, even if, like, even if only one or two of those people stick around, they still... That's one or two people that are contributing to the player base and may eventually turn into a decent player or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I know from firsthand experience, whenever I started playing this game, I didn't have a clue what was going on. This is the first MMO I've ever remote. played. <laughs> Like, I was like, there's so many buttons. I don't know what all these things are on the bottom. And I actually, like, I, I played it for, like, a month. And I ended up quitting the game just because it was so overwhelming and so, like... I couldn't get out of my I, I couldn't even, like, I didn't even know what was going on. In it. And I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know anything. And it was just too much. So, like, I actually quit the game. And then I came back to it during COVID. 
And whenever I came back to it in COVID, that's whenever I started like really getting into it and I had help and I had people like explaining to me what to do and like helping me progress and like teaching me how to play it and stuff. And that made the difference in me continuing playing the game as to when I quit playing it back then was having people to play with that were helping me and teaching me. And so, like, I prefer to do that rather than to just sit and throw rocks at people who don't know how to do mechanics or something. I am now late for my runs. This is no bueno. It's actually a run I'm supposed to be hosting. <laughs> but there's one more thing. One more thing. that This thing is, like, the single thing that drives me absolutely batshit crazy about this game and its player base. And that's the people who are the negative Nancys, who have nothing good to say about this game. Uh, oh, and Barb's, yes, Barb's as well, I don't like them. <laughs> but no, the people who will sit there and they will just like trash the game over and over and over, like the game is dog shit, no content, blah, 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 all of these things. But yet, here you are in a stream about this game, watching it, Loey. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't understand the mentality of the people who, who do, are, are you hoping for improvement? Like, is that why, why it's like that sort of mentality to where like you it's the feel like you need to you. verbalize it or something? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. Oh, true. I guess you can be addicted even if it's shit. <laughs> Either way though, like, at the end of the day, who, oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> because I, I just feel like I get the... so annoyed by just, like, being like, dude, then just quit. Like, go away. Stop it. Nobody wants to listen to you complain 24 hours it's a like... day because that's all that comes out of your mouth is complaints. Like, stop. Go away. It's and that's all that two negative. problems. <laughs> just to be negative sort of a thing. It's like... You're looking to make other people miserable, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah. With your negativity. I guess. That's Everything. just, like, if I hate one thing in this game, it is the people that are just constantly negative about the game. But yet they continue to friends. play the game. And they continue to, like, do whatever. And I guess simply because, like, I'm more interested in getting players involved and increasing the player base and things like that. To where it is a sustainable game and like an, a, an enduring game in terms of that. However, there's like you can see it in the public discords and stuff where people will join the discord and they'll be like, hey, I'm new to the game. Like any advice or what? And like people will reply to them and they'll say quit or don't play and stuff like And it's like. What? What? What are you looking to accomplish What here? are you hoping to accomplish <laughs> in saying that? Like, I don't, I don't get it because that's not going to encourage anyone to play the game, I wouldn't think. And like, if, if like the player base is constantly belittling the game and such like that and not being helpful in bringing in people to the game and stuff as well. It doesn't really, I mean, I guess that's not on us as the player base to do either. That's on the game designers to provide content and make it a riveting game to play, I guess, so that you don't have to be addicted to shit, because who wants to be addicted to shit? But anyways, that's besides the point. That's an entirely different conversation. <laughs> Help me. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, like, we still, I, I keep saying at the end of the day, too, and I apologize for that. I can see how like that's probably of Jeremy annoying. Kyle. Yeah, my yeah, bad. But at the end of the day... <laughs> at the end of the day? <laughs> like, and nobody wants to hear anybody complain nonstop. Nobody. I don't think. Uh, maybe that's your thing. I don't know. Maybe some people do want to. But I don't. And I know most of my friends don't. So, maybe just but... chill out, negative Nancys. Chill out. That was Eric's Anyways. extra point that she just wants to get in. <laughs> what? But the negative Nancy's. Yeah. Just gotta get that live. So, that's all my rants and raves for now about the world of Neverwinter. 
And I'm going to clip this video and I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel because I want to actually hear other people's opinions regarding this. Because some of the things that we talked about early on are like generally accepted things and practice things. And I don't really understand why they are. And I'm wondering if the majority of the community also doesn't understand why that's a thing, yet we have these rules. So, once I get it up there, post your comments and the feedback. Do do whatever. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are and all that stuff. Um, but until then, that's all I got for y'all. <laughs> now I'm going to go set up my trial. I'm going to change my stream tile off of Rants and Rays as well. One second. I mean, you might want to keep that on after the run. So oh, yeah, it might know. be Rants and Raves, too, because if yeah. Voodoo's bringing his barb, I'm probably going to rage quit. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'll be right back. Okay.